Hi guys, this is Just with a quick message before we get started. Right now, I'm offering a two question reading. All you have to do is click the link below. No hassle, no fuss. Click that link, make your quick payment, and immediately you'll be scheduled for your reading. And that's it. If you're interested, you know what to do. Click that link below. Yeah, and we'll set something up real soon. Otherwise, on with your reading. Take care, guys. Hi Sagittarius, this is Just with your December 15th to the 31st singles love reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Sagittarius, <coughs> excuse me, it seems as though, and we're focusing on Sagittarius that are single, and singles uh, these days are a lot, right? It's singles that are actually single have nothing going on uh with no one um and we're kind of seeing if that usually shows up it usually doesn't for those of you that are single single um not much shows up for you guys um but we're going to focus on singles who are in transition um not officially single but you're acting single you feel like you're single or there's no real connection anymore with that person but there has been no complete finality in the relationship as of yet and those of you who are dating and who are in the social sphere but uh again on unattached you may be seeing someone or people but you're not officially with a particular person so that being said some of you i feel there has been like this tug of war as it relates to love love's not been that great for some sages i have to say that it seems like some of you have had to make some very serious decisions about a particular situation with a person someone who i feel is very stubborn who's very self-focused who is cares more about themselves than anything else and you tell me you may have been trying to figure out what do you do with this person and i feel like there's been like this reprieve this break from each other so there's like not this so i feel like you kind of like are on the outs with someone and you're kind of moving forward trying to decide you know what's the next step in your life where you're going to go what are you going to do you know what's this new new year's going to look like for you you know do you want to travel for the holidays where do you want to go how many gifts you're going to buy what you're going to do with your money that sort of thing so just very everyday mundane practical things and looking long term all at the same time I feel that a lot of you are very driven at this time. You, you're feeling very much your Sag energy. And you're, find, you're feeling what are the prospects of me getting into something real and solidified. You may be feeling like love has just been too much to deal with. Commitment has been a chore. Love has been a lot. And it just feels like it's a lot. You know, it's just a lot to have to deal with. And some of you may have very strong feelings with for a particular person that you may have seen as a friend or someone new that you met and the person could be at a distance and so you're not kind of able to be around them and therefore there was no real <coughs> reality, excuse me, of you guys kind of solidifying something wasn't realistic right and I feel that you know you may have been trying to get to know them or them trying to get to know you but the more you did the more you realized that this situation was just you know wedging you guys further further and part apart and became more and more confusing um so when it becomes something like that you know that either this person is keeping secrets they're hiding something or someone or they're just not on the same page and probably don't want what you want <clears throat> excuse me i feel like for some of you um there's going to be some eye-opening things going on for the remainder of these two weeks. <clears throat> someone's not communicating. Someone's hiding things. They're not saying because now I'm not able to speak. Um, and you're the ninth sign I've done so far and I've not had a problem with this. So there's been some someone not saying, not being honest about a commitment or being honest about their status so be very careful if you're out there single socially meeting people i feel like you may have someone that kind of they come out at a distance so they may live at in a neighboring city a neighboring county a neighboring area and they come to a whole different area to socialize and to you know um act single but in essence they're not single and i feel like once you start to probe them and ask questions when they clam up that'll be the 
um, the um, that'll be evidence of you knowing that okay, this person is is um, lying about something or being less less than honest. I feel like some of you at this point. You're kind of giving love a break. I mean, hell, Saturn has been transiting your sign. So life period has just been one cluster F after another. It's just been like, you know what? I'm done. And usually at the end of Saturn, you are kind of at that pentacle of being done. But it looks like as we get to the end of 2018, 17, excuse me, um, some of you are no longer going to, you're going to want to kind of settle things, settle situations. You may find that someone comes in back into your life or someone may come back into your life wanting a reprieve, wanting to start over, wanting to, to, to kind of um, deal again. But you're not going to be very response, responsive in the way that they would like. You're going to be very sharp, very clear, very focused. Your questions are going to be unemotional, but very clear. You're going to want clear answers. I feel like a lot of you are going to want to settle things with people. And you may only allow people to come back just for that, to settle things. Not to, you know, think that they have the Midas touch and they're going to woo you in some kind of way. But no, just to, you know, get things settled and kind of get closure, if you will, and move on is what it looks like. So I do see some closures closure coming up for some of you i feel like if you're you are entertaining a particular person i feel like this person may be entertaining someone else or they're with someone else and they're kind of juggling people and you know you'll know that because the person kind of becomes mia they always taking these breaks they're always going off somewhere um so yeah they're always going off somewhere they're always taking a break and then like you don't hear from them and i get four so maybe like four days they come up missing four hours you know a good four hours where you don't hear from them and people say what can you do in four hours a lot you can go on a date four hours you can talk on the phone for four hours you can go see someone for a couple of hours you know you can do a lot in four hours um if you want to you know and i feel that you know there's these fours you know every you know every month they go so every four weeks they're traveling out someplace they're going someplace um and i feel like there's going to be if that's the case with a particular person you're going to get down to the bottom of this situation and try to figure out like what the hell is going on here like you know this is this what this is going to be so if you're dating someone there will be like these real clear talks that need to be had in order to get down to the bottom of what's going on where do you stand where are you guys going like what is it supposed to be some of you are going to completely cut it off because of it because you feel like the person is keeping secrets and they're hiding things and i feel like if they are they'll never be honest with you i'll never say you know never say never but they at this point they're not going to be honest about it like they're going to string it along as long as they can and i keep getting four so maybe things will start to change when we get in april of 2018 and i don't think it'll be for the better i think whatever they've been hiding Hiding, that'll unravel and you know if it's another person that they go sneak off and they go see and they spend time with this other person it'll be like you'll be it will, it will be revealed in by april or by then they'll have all their ducks in a row and do whatever it is that they need to do and then it'll be like okay i don't care if you know or not and by april it'll be something that you're kind of aware of so be very careful with people that you're engaging with people from your past i feel that maybe want to come back for a reprieve i feel like you know settle what you need to settle with them but you 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 of all signs need to go into this new year and with a new slate you know um almost like a rebirth you know settle what you need almost like you're you're living a not a number nine year so you need to settle things from your past make amends with things um and settle them you know and put them behind you and go into this new year a number one like really ready to embrace new things new avenues new possibilities and i feel like a lot of you guys are thinking that way you even may be thinking of traveling moving maybe on your mind a lot like you feel like okay i'm I'm going to be moving. It's a lot of you within a year's period, you will be moving. Well, some of you, I won't say a lot of you, but I feel like possibly by the time we get to like, um, second month or second quarter of 2007, 18, you guys will be moving. Okay. Um, and that may be that whole, um, saving your money and, and really not going out and trying to do as, as little spending as you can, because a lot of you guys will just get really work focused and, putting love aside 
really focusing on the next chapter of your life, which is moving. Um, and some of you will be settling debts. So you may be having to pay off some things. You may be going to court for some stuff. You may be going through um, a divorce of some sort. And I do feel like if you're going to go through a divorce, you may get the better end of the stick. So things may go your way. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel. And whatever is, is not clear when it comes to love, when it comes to people being less than honest, I feel the best thing that you could do is get focused on you and move forward like you intend to because you can't change people you can't make people be um, more than what they're going to be for those of you like i said that are completely single like you you again like i said love may not be necessarily the focus if there's someone in particular be very mindful i get four so it may take four months for you to see what this person is truly all about if what they're saying to you is real um thankfully saturn is leaving capricorn but it's a, your adjacent sign so it's going to your second house for some of you and it will be in a in a position that won't necessarily give you reprieve it'll just be like a lot of stuff going on with family and and um your money and stuff like that so yeah, it's still more stuff to deal with with saturn going into capricorn for some of you uh, but again, like I said, it's it's just settling things. I just get a lot of settlement, settling situations with people, settling uh, things on your own and really trying to get to a new place in your life when, <clears throat> excuse me, 2017 gets here. And again, there are things that a person is not telling you. So I would not be um, so trusting of other people. Let them prove themselves rather than believe what they say. Even their actions at this time will be elusive so again just four months is what i get four months and by the month of april it'll all become a little clearer for you so that's what i have for you guys for the remainder of 2017 i'm sorry it's not one of these like love and everything's so great with love i would love to give you guys one of those i don't know when you'll get one of those um but yeah uh, if you would like to share with us how this resonates with you, please do so in the comment section below. You know, we'd love to hear from you. And you can't look at this and just think that this is my life and that's it. There's, this could be something that's completely unrelatable to you. And you would want to look into something that's more specific to your life. And if it is relatable to you, you may want an in-depth look into your particular circumstance. If you do, I'm offering a two-question promotion it's that link is in the description box below all you have to do is click on the link and make your quick payment and immediately you'll be scheduled for your reading <clears throat> again someone needs to communicate um and if you guys would like something a little bit different i can be reached in the description box below as well as well as the beginning into this video and if you're new to this channel welcome 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 and subscribe because there are so many more things that i bring to the table and I will be doing that very soon with another one. Take care, Sagittarius.